Hello there everyone, welcome to week three. Uh, yeah, I'm interested to know how long it's actually going to take to paint this huge monster of a Dennis Dominator bus. Um, so I've timed myself now from the actual sanding down of the surface in preparation for painting. I used a hand sander to get it all ready and then using a brush to get off the extra dust and picking off any other bits that the sander hasn't removed. And then here I am with a damp rag and a bit of fairy liquid just to take off any sort of grease that still remains and remove, of course, all the extra dust because we don't want any specks of dust in there at all. Um, I don't have the choice to do it undercover, but I'm waiting for a mild day with little wind. Uh, here you can see um, I'm priming the aluminium sheets that have replaced some of the windows. Aluminium is a very shiny surface and paint will not normally adhere to it. So a primer, an etch primer, uh, eats slightly into the aluminium, fixes on it and allows the paint also to stick properly. So you can see I was having a little conversation with my carpenter there. He's working on the floor inside the bus. And here I am putting on the undercoat. So I'm just going to do one undercoat. Um, the colour that will go on top of that is a light green, but I'll probably put on two coats of that. We will see. During my painting, I'm visited by chickens, as you can see, running around. And sometimes the dog comes and lays down. Barley comes to lay down next to me in his old age, resting. So all of this, as I said, took two mornings, so that's six hours. Uh, I still have two more coats of paint to put on. So I think another six hours. So what's that? A total of 12 hours for ooh, a fifth of the bus. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, <laughs> we will see.